Well, now is the moment of truth. So first, you have to flip this switch in order for it to turn on the spark plug. This motor is already warm, so I don't have to choke it. On the first time. You got your brake, footrest, accelerator. Let's go. So let's flip the switch, turning on the spark plug, foot on, two pulls baby. The brakes are pretty good, I feel that they are very tight, they're almost sports car like. You push the accelerator, the response is pretty good. The steering is pretty precise, it's because it's rack opinion. And it's very light, but look, it's almost sports car like. Look at this, look at it. When you floor it. And then you turn it in. You could feel everything. I wish modern cars were like this. The ride is pretty good. It's not very harsh, but you do feel the bumps. It's very responsive. I'm gonna floor it. Now I'm going to give you guys a second point of view of me driving it. So let's start. This. One pull. So my final thoughts on the car, I have to be honest, for something that I built, or just in general, I am just speechless. It drives well, the rack of pinion steering makes a world of difference. I have driven go-karts where they have the steering with the rods, and it's just, it's just not good. It's heavy, it's vague, this steering is very tight. You can actually carve corners with this. Now I wouldn't suggest with these tires, but if you got new tires, I could legitimately see this is an awesome racing contender. The ride, I'll be honest, it's bumpy, but it's actually very smooth. You can see that the ground has cracks all over it. It's just not in good condition, but it's handling it pretty well. The steering is the biggest takeaway. I don't think I have any complaints. I would just get better wheels, but this is all we could find. And honestly, even with these wheels, it handles pretty good. The turning radius is good. The comfort is good. And the acceleration. This thing moves. And because it has disc brakes, it stops on a dime. First time I drove this thing it brought me to tears because ever since I was a little kid 
it was always my dream to build my own sports car. And at age 16, here I am, and I built my own car. It's definitely a joy moment for me. This is a moment you'll never forget. And those discs are pretty good. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me throughout the years. It's definitely a lot of fun doing these projects. So thank you guys so much for watching. More awesome videos are to come and I'll see you guys in the next one. Come on, let's do one more pool.